We continue our team coverage tonight on the attempted assassination of Donald Trump. Both the former president and current president Joe Biden are calling for unity after the weekend attack in Butler, Pennsylvania. In a speech to the nation, Biden appealed to Americans to lower the temperature in our politics. But will they be able to lead the way? Tonight, our Lisa Adams has some insight from political analyst Dr. Joe Morris from Mercyhurst University. Lisa, good evening. And good evening again, guys. No one knows quite how to process the drama and the trauma that unfolded on Saturday in Butler. Dr. Joe Morris said both candidates are saying the right things, but will they be able to turn down the heated rhetoric themselves with the presidency on the line? By now, everyone has watched the stunning scene in Butler play out over and over. The former president, bloodied by a bullet that struck his ear, narrowly missing a far worse fate for the Republican nominee. Political analyst Joe Morris said what matters most now is how the camps provide context for what happened. So what we'll have over the next couple of weeks is a battle between narratives or stories that provide meaning to the events that occurred on Saturday. In a race where the numbers have budged little, Morris believes public opinion will gravitate toward one narrative or another. For an incumbent like President Biden, the difficult task is to Good provide afternoon. direction for the nation. They have to lead, but it's an election year, so they also have to make use of political events in a way that serve their interests, that is, being reelected. For Donald Trump, who voters either love or disdain, how he handles his near-death experience may be an opportunity. Donald Trump, I think, has an advantage here. Uh, he has the opportunity to demonstrate his leadership skills in a way that might alleviate some people's concerns about him. Dr. Morris is convinced, though, that both candidates' actions will speak louder than words. You want to make sure that you really cool things off. You have to do that as a leader. The alternative is a situation that nobody wants, one where political violence has become normalized. Now, I also asked Dr. Morris if he thought Trump announcing his VP pick, who we now know is Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, would change the conversation at all. And he said it will add to the conversation, but he doubts if it will alter the impressions of the candidates developing for the last few months. Uh, live in the studio, Lisa Adams, Erie News Now. We'll be right back with more Erie News Now after this.